Hi. So this painting, um, I feel like it represents a lot of my self in terms of how I dealt with my own personal relationship with myself. Um, I do love the morning, so I really like that this painting, um, at least sip and paint, had the sun included in it. And I feel like maybe that's why I, I try to make the gradient more brighter. Um, I do appreciate the stars because I'm from the city, so I don't really have a lot of stars. So seeing that for the first time last night meant something um, special to me because that was something on my bucket list. So I wanted to include that in this painting as well. I felt like before um, the painting session, um, I was just coming out from sleep and we had a breakfast and a full tummy, but it allowed me to focus on something for an hour with good people and um, great energy to actually come up with something that was resembling our community here, but at the same time, having that personal element and touches of it, so thank you. I think initially when I first started painting, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I used to paint in, my, in the past, and I haven't done it in multiple years now. And when I picked up the brush, it just came natural. Um, I wasn't thinking about anything, how perfect everything had to be. It was just a moment where I was in a flow state, and I just painted different strokes, different colors, and I really enjoyed it. And so I'm very happy with how it turned out. Painting this definitely helped me release some emotions of just feeling stuck. I felt like this was an opportunity for my brain to just go with the flow and I didn't have to think. And so I really appreciated that. And this made me realize that my creativity is very important and I need to make time for it. Um, I've just been so caught up with work and my personal life where to the point where I can't even bring myself to sit down and paint or do whatever creative thing that brings me happiness. So this just made me realize that my happiness is super important and I need to embrace it more. Hi, my name is Julia. This activity today, it really helped me to tap into my creative side and to let go of perfectionism and just go with the flow. And this really um, symbolizes itself in the blending of colors and the incompletion a bit with the, the white parts. But um, I'm happy with it and I'm happy to be happy with it. And I'm happy to have painted for the first time in a while. So it helped me release emotion and it helped me um, start a start anew because I do see myself painting more from now on. All right, so my name is Lauren. I'm the host of this Anxious to Abundant retreat. And first of all, this was my first retreat hosting, and I am like blown away by the amount of like enthusiasm, um, positive energy, and just happiness here uh, this weekend and I wanted to do a paint and sip activity for everyone because number one my one of my first passions was art and I know firsthand how therapeutic art can be especially painting and going off the rails and uh, first of all I love how everyone's painting looked different even though I kind of guided everyone through the same sort of uh, instructions um, but that's just how we do it and to me, this symbolizes just letting go. That was a huge theme for this weekend, was just like letting go and letting your creativity take you wherever it does. Oftentimes, we're just suppressing thoughts in the mind. So to have a, a free mind where you can just focus on your art and focus on creating something is just lets the boundaries go from the mind. So that's what it symbolizes to me. It just symbolizes just letting go in general. Um, and it helped me personally 
let go, release emotions, and also have fun and bond with all of the wonderful feminine energy and wonderful women that are here this weekend. This was a wonderful weekend. I feel like I have been transformed from the moment that I stepped in on Thursday evening till today. I'm a completely different person. I came in um, solo and I am leaving this weekend with five new friends, five new sisters, and um, I feel so blessed. And I would definitely come back and do this again. Um, and I encourage all of you out here that's hearing this, um, please come. Lauren is amazing. You're going to have a wonderful time. River Mountain is beautiful. You're going to love it. You have to come. Hi. I had a great time this weekend at the Anxious to Abundant um, Retreat. Um, I was just very uh thrilled to be able to come on this retreat because um you know we all have some anxieties even though um you know we work on them but it was just refreshing to think that we could come together with a group of other ladies to discuss these anxieties you know and then just work towards uh, resolving things that we um you know are unsure about so this was a great space to be in it was very personalized uh, the campus here the retreat campus is very very uh, low-key it's beautiful campus rolling hills mountains and valleys I would encourage anyone to come um, and just the, the, the atmosphere um, is a very safe space to talk to um, their varying ages here um, late uh, late 20s to early 50s um, I think anyone would benefit from signing up um, the next time this event is happening um, in this area or any area I would encourage anybody to sign up and come um, you'll have a lot of fun the food was good uh, the grounds are pretty the cabins were spectacular and the service here the staff was great so um, we journaled we did some sip and painting we did some um, fireside chats we did late night talks and we just did a lot of exploring um, just working on ourselves so I encourage you to come hi my name is Elsie and I'm one of the women on the retreat today um, I just felt like this was the best opportunity that I've taken on a whim. Um, I wasn't expecting for me to feel disconnected to the women on the retreat and feel so at peace with everything and not having to worry about my responsibilities despite myself having responsibilities. Um, I just kind of let myself let go and I think Lauren had communicated that throughout this entire trip, just letting go. Um, so that's been transformative. and. For anybody who's interested in coming to Anxious to Abundant Retreat, you can expect a great time. <laughs> um, just positive people that want to grow into themselves and have um, a good time and um, just connect with one another. That's a thing you can expect. So, yeah. Overall, I had a great time at this retreat. This was the first time I've personally done something like this, and so I didn't have any expectations. I just went with the flow, and that was the general nature of the retreat. It was very peaceful, calming, and 
I got to connect with so many lovely people that I otherwise wouldn't have met before. And I just feel like I came here to rest and reset and just forget about all my responsibilities. And I'm so happy that I was able to do that in such a beautiful place. Um, I've learned to appreciate and embrace nature much more. And once I go back to regular life, I'm definitely gonna make more of an effort to get outside and venture out, even if it's only a couple miles away. Just getting out of my head and just enjoying what the earth provides for us. Um,